Hey, fantasy football fans, want to gain a last-minute advantage over the teams you play this week? Don't forget to check out Ken Zalis' Fantasy Football Notebook on PressBoxOnline.com, presented by Chesapeake Urology Associates. And now, a senior forward out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, number one, Kyle Kaufman. And there's Stevenson senior Kyle Kaufman entering the field at Mustang Stadium after shedding the role he's had as team manager for the past three seasons to finally make his collegiate playing debut against Hood College a couple weeks ago, a conference game that Stevenson won 2 to nothing. And welcome back to Inside Press Box. And now with me to talk about all things surrounding Stevenson soccer and Stevenson athletics is my friend John Plaviak, the uh, head men's coach at Stevenson University. And John, we had you on... I want to talk about your season, and we will, but that was, uh, we got an amazing response to the story we did in the October edition of Press Box about Kyle Kaufman, who was your, your manager, uh, who suffers from cerebral palsy. Yeah, it was a great story, you know, and, and, and Kyle came to us uh, back, you know, obviously four years ago uh, and just asked to be the manager, and then from there evolved into he wanted to try to paralegal. Uh, Olympics and, and and try to play and you know, worked out every day. Showed the kids what it was like to be uh, somebody that had some you know uh, disabilities, but he always showed us his abilities every day as he continued to to be off on the side and play. We we, we filmed a uh, version of him playing with the guys, but he didn't get didn't get accepted. So uh, he, he, he one of the guys on the team who's a video major at Stevenson did a little documentary for a school project. And it took off a little virally on YouTube. Yep. Stuff. Got got every all, all kind of recognition. And in that whole thing, Kyle said, you know, his dream was to play in a college game. So it, it just clicked. And then uh, I talked to Hood College coach Brian Wall, good friend of mine, class act. He said we could do it no matter what the circumstances were, playoff or not. We pulled it off. Um, Kyle not only got to dress and play, he got to play 18 minutes. Now, as I understand it, this season. You had a lot of adversity that you had. You you were kind of like the Randy Etzel of local soccer coaches here. Uh, and uh, I'm wondering if your players learned a lesson from having watched Kyle with the adversity he goes through and how he champions and soldiers on. Your players had some adversity, and, and yet they continued to work hard the whole year. Well, it's, it, it, it's a great point because uh, we were 3-0. and We beat the number 22 team in the country on their field, Newman, 3 nothing. We were six minutes away from being 4-0 and and nationally ranked. Our goalie got kicked in the head, concussion, Brian Roberts style, never came back. The next two games, we lost five starters, similar to poor Maryland. And um, we ended up having to play a lot of younger kids who didn't even know Kyle coming in. And yet, when the, when the whole season ended, a little disappointing. We didn't make the playoffs, only, only the second time in 15 years for one of my teams. But with that night with Kyle, uh, I think they took lifelong lessons uh, in, into their future. It's a teachable moment. As Absolutely. And it's, you know, and, and it's so much more about wins and losses as you get a little older as coach. You go back to reunions, you go to one of your players' weddings, and you see the older guys come back and play. It's never about who won, who lost. It's about, you know, who, who taught what, coach catching them there, doing this, a lot of fun. So. Well, you've been part of, of the things that have been going on at Stevenson now for a number of years. Tell us about what that's like to have watched the, the athletic department grow and evolve. Well, you know, when, when I was at, at McDaniel and we had it going there, we were one of the top 25 teams every year, and, and, and we, we, I came off a winning a conference championship in that Centennial Conference. Everybody thought I was a little bit crazy to, to go over there to Stevenson. Uh, at the time, Villa yep. Joy, they certainly didn't have a strong soccer program whatsoever. In fact, uh, we beat them 9-1 to one the year before I went over. And my daughter was going to enter uh, McDaniel as a freshman and my wife had been teaching uh, and, and being a nurse there for 15 years. Everybody's like what? But it was beyond just the athletics. It was what Dr. Manning and Tim Campbell, our vice president, were espousing as the future growth. And I thought if these guys are right, if they're if they're on the ball and they're doing what they're it's going to be unprecedented growth and sure enough, their vision, their dream it has come to fruition and not only from a athletic standpoint, but this this has grown from 700 students in 2000 to just a little under 4,000 today. Yeah, Dr. Manning's done an Amazing. absolutely incredible job. 
the football program that they added a year and a half ago. How has that aided your recruiting? Well, obviously, in, a, in school that has seventy percent women, it's helped in with with uh, you know having more male athletes. And then not only that is that Ed Hoddle, the head coach there, has done such a great great job in that. You know, I, I saw Miss Accordia this year started football. They were zero and ten, where I scored five sixty one fifty. Ed Hoddle's won four games in I two know. years. I know. Upset a, a playoff team, event. so it, it's all good there. It's all about you know the, the environment for the student athlete but winning is a strong emphasis at Stevenson because we're proud of what we do in, in the classroom and on the field and we want to get there and I think we got the right people in 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 that football program that we're going to shock a whole lot of people in the near future in a very tough football All conference. Right, real quick last question Maryland moves from the ACC to the Big Ten 10 seconds soccer equal the two conferences about the same you know as people argue but big tens come a long way um maryland will be the same unfortunately lacrosse is where they're going to get hurt soccer they won't all right john plaviak head coach men's soccer at stevenson university one of my good buddies will address maryland's move out of the acc with press box writer bill ordeen right after these messages Inside Press Box is brought to you in part by Glen Burnie Transmission, your dealer alternative for transmission repairs. Save hundreds of dollars off dealer's prices. Financing and free towing are available. Call Mark at GBT today and ask for the Press Box special for even more savings.